But like, what else did I come here to get though, Nance? Like, the whole reason to come here is to get the rusted iron ring. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even activate this boulder again yet. Huh. Like I come here to get the rusted iron ring. And I come here to get his shield usually. He might kill me right here. Somebody said party in the chat. Now decided to go for it. Yes. Party. <laughs> what is up, everybody? It is Brimson Barlow. Welcome to the uh, Twitch. And we are going to get started with some more soul level one run, which was requested by the lovely heck guy. We made some great progress last stream. And I'm really excited to make some more progress this stream. So, oh, woo! <laughs> what is up, Sir Baldus? What is up, Hecka Guy? What is up, Nance? What is up, everybody? The biggest and the best. Get some hype in the chat, man. Super hype chat today. Very proud of you guys. <laughs> so, let's get started. Greetings, mortals, Brent Barlow here, and today we're going to be playing some more Soul Level 1 run. In the last episode, we beat the Gargoyles, we beat Quaylog, and now we are sitting down and farming for just a little while longer. Um, this re this challenge run was requested by Hekagai, an old friend of mine from way back when, elementary school, middle school, high school type stuff. Uh, I got to thinking about it, and you know, I, I think Hekagai was one of my first best friends, because like it was like first grade where we met. And like, it was basically one of my first best friends I had, you know, so glad he's here. Glad he's part of the community. I'm excited. And uh, we're going to get started with some soul level one. Let's do it. Get right back into it from last time. We are currently farming and I, I've decided I just want to keep farming. Um, I wish I had a few extra humanities or I would uh, get my uh, item discovery up. But we're, we're really close to where we need to be. Um, we have six large Titanite shards and three Titanite shards. So we're just going to go kill some, uh, some slugs and see if we can get ourselves a bit better uh, materials. That mask. Look at my mask. Also, my buns are real teriyaki right now. Get that double kill. Anyway, we got to be a little bit quick because poison wears me down quite a bit. So let's go get these slugs. We have zero item discoverability, so this kind of sucks. <laughs> you did full parry the boss, man. Don't even don't even start with me. Like you you missed one hit. That's all. But yeah, I'm on a no pants run right now, technically. <laughs> Don't you do this to me, you mosquito boys. Uh. Yeah, you didn't have to go through all the mosquito problems because um, you just went right for the boss and everything, so. <laughs> but, uh, anywho, you had some mosquito troubles when getting your pyromancies done, though, at the uh, pyromancy lady. She can be a pain. Just by itself. I'm definitely dying a few times to the uh, to the slugs here because farming these guys with only five Estus flasks is just going to lead to me dying, almost guaranteed. So, come on, give me give me what I'm looking for, please. I probably should like semi give up on this to just. Uh, come back down here with more humanities and item discovery, but I literally just need to get um, three more large Titanites, and if I can do that, like, it's going to make a massive difference here in a little bit, so if I can just get three large Titanite drops, that's, like, all I need to do. But yeah, I am uh, super proud of my buddy Nance here, uh, who's in the chat with us. He just beat Dark Souls. He literally beat the um, beat the last boss today. I just got done watching him, literally. I posted his uh, big moment on my Discord, 
and uh, he pretty much parried back to back to back uh, Gwen and did the thing that I've always talked about. Like, if you learn how to parry in this game, you will literally beat the game parrying. Um, so he, he took that to heart and actually did it. So I was really proud of him. Yeah, doing some more Dark Souls. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I don't I don't have much HP. I might have to come back because I I don't have the I don't have the I don't have the humanity to upgrade my bonfire and I don't have the health to justify kind of fighting these over and over and over like this because it's taken too long. So I think I'll make a couple runs upstairs and maybe homeward bone back here for it because uh, it'll make a big difference if I just go off and get what I need to go get and come back. <laughs> well, actually, I got two large Titanites I can get from Sin's Fortress. So actually, well, I'm needing the green Titanite shards as well. Yeah, we're going to go run up to Sin's Fortress real quick and get what I need. But yeah, Nance totally disrespected the Lord Ascender. Absolutely disrespected the last boss of the game. Hopefully I'll get to do the same thing. I'm pretty good at parrying. I haven't parried Gwen in a long time, so we'll see how that ends up going. But uh, <laughs> hopefully I can pull off the same thing. If not, that's okay too. No one challenges me, me! Dude... Nance, you, you're a monster when it comes to it. Like, um, He beat Artorius in three tries, and he beat Manus in two tries. Like, The guy is, is genuinely a monster at the game. I was very proud of him for his first, first time playing through the game. Very, very proud of him for his first time playing through the game. If I can get out of here, that'll be awesome. Come on, just do your little movie move. You gotta be careful that friggin' that uh, toxic is probably gonna kill me before I can get up to the next bonfire, but getting some purple moss clumps is gonna help, so. I'll die from toxic before I get to the end so I'm just gonna kill some of these guys try to get their items these little extra purple moss clumps I don't think I got a blooming do I have a blooming I do have one blooming and he gave me toxic right after eating it look at that oh my god the friggin timing of that <laughs> let's see what we got going on here I do enjoy some cigars every now and then. I missed what heck a guy said, but yeah. Cigars are RPG, it's fine. Yeah, I don't mind cigars. Cigars are dope. Um, I wish I knew more about them, because like, there's a whole like industry and like connoisseurship. I mean, there's a connoisseurship to anything that you do. Um, I've watched like guides and I've watched like people talking about, um, the connoisseurship of cigars. I just personally don't know. Oh my God. I, I thought he was dead. I just wish I knew more about it. Yeah, I don't, I actually don't have any right now. So that would be awesome. <laughs> I definitely would like a good one. That's for sure. Um, my favorite one I've had so far, and it was garbage. It was absolutely, like, terrible. But um, I was on vacation, and I went to the cigar shop, and I found one that was, like, abnormally long. Like, I think it was, like, a foot and a half long or something. It was goofy. Yeah, it was a 16-inch it was a, it was a cigar. It was, it was a big old thick round one. 
And I, I just, I walked all over the place with that thing. I loved it. <laughs> that was my favorite one so far, but I've had a few good tasting ones. I just don't know names and stuff like that. So I wish I knew, I wish I knew more names is what I guess I could say. Black and mild cigars was the only thing I've ever really smoked. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of people's entry point. They're better than cigarettes. I'm never going to say black and milds are bad. They're they're low quality cigars. Nobody's going to question that statement. But they are a lot better for you than friggin' cigarettes. Cigarettes are just God, cigarettes are rough. Now I can't do a cigarette, no matter how hard I try. They make me gag. I've I've probably seen the video you're about to send me because I've. I've genuinely watched a lot of videos. I just, I've never been able to retain the information because I don't like actively seek out what they're talking about. Whereas with whiskeys, I could tell you a lot more about whiskeys. There's the backstab. Cause I need to drink my flask. I don't got to kill these guys. So I'm just going to run off. Mostly using, uh, backstabs and stuff as a defense mechanism more than anything else yeah these guys are annoying <laughs> for some reason i can only picture brim with a cigar on a danny devito stance talking with a new york accent oh my god i i could never do a new york accent i i just i could never <laughs> to say the least killed me like 10 times yeah um but yeah nance you did you did tremendously good because um killing artorius in three tries killing manis in two tries i i have very rarely seen people fighting them their first time and and beating them that fast because that is that is a feat to behold but you did exactly what like you you took my tips to heart that's what was what was so beautiful like the tips that i gave you don't rush be patient learn the boss dance with the boss you took all of that to heart and just like absolutely annihilated those bosses like the first death you you use it to like uh read the boss learn his methods and everything and then the the second time you fight him you you go full ham and then usually it's two or three after that once you learn them like genuinely i'm i am extremely proud of you and for somebody that like even in our podcast we were talking about you not liking dark souls like you turned that leaf and enjoyed the game and now you're like i can't get enough i just want more <laughs> so i've been i've been really proud of watching you man because <laughs> it is once you once you do a run like you want to learn the other ways of, of running like you know you do a, a great weapon build and then you turn around and you do a um, magic build you do a dexterity build you do faith build you run around and mix them up all over the place and then you start doing challenge runs you start doing bow only start doing soul level one runs you start doing lumberjack pvp builds in the friggin' forest because it's like you saw a video on the internet and it looked cool and you start doing that build <laughs> like you're getting into that hook that i got into is what's funny <laughs> and it, it it's a hook man like it's great That warp stone makes you really good at games. Indeed it does. We need more warp stone power. We need the axe of kill kill carnage. Yes, yes. Axe of kill kill carnage. <laughs> that might as well be the bonk, you know. Nance head taker. Yes, yes. <laughs> Blessed head taker. I'm gonna call it today. Wait and watch. Nance will be on featured on AG <laughs> DQ. <laughs> That's funny. 
Did I kill this thing? I sure did. So yeah, I've played this game so much that I, I forget when I've killed something and when I haven't, just in between sessions. Oh, I love Trailer Park Boys. They're awesome. <laughs> they are. They're, they're an amazing breed of people. No doubt about it. Hello, Mr. Andre. I would like to give you my very large ember. Witness unto you that I am not wearing pants. <laughs> I'll grab my repair box. And then a uh, reinforced weapon. Actually, no, we're modifying reinforced club to plus six. Then reinforcing my... Club to seven to eight to nine. And we just need three more Titanite shards to finish that one off. And then I don't need to reinforce my Dragon Crest. But I will. Because actually No, I won't, because I wanna I wanna reinforce my uh I definitely want to reinforce the crest shield, not the dragon crest. Do I have anything I want to use in here? Not necessarily. Freaking dumb, but it's hilarious. I agree. I watched the episode where the preacher comes in and comes in and the intro made me die. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I hate Leahy passed away, but he was getting old. Leahy was a legend, man. I loved Leahy. Now I'm doing the real bonkinations. Bonk. Bonk. And you get a bonk, and you get a bonk. Everyone gets a bonk. <laughs> Bruh. Let's see, I've got, I got this Firekeeper soul that I want to go give. I may just buy my, I might just buy the three large Titanites and then come back later. Um, it's possible to one shot every boss in the game. You just got to do the right build for it. You got to get the demon great axe from the Taurus demon. Um, and then turn around and um, basically put it into uh, plus 15. Once you plus 15 it, get yourself the red tear stone ring and put yourself inside the tear stone ring set up. And then um, power within on the dragon body with another ring that increases damage. I think it's critical hit ring. Um, and you can pretty much one shot wonder the entire world um, with great magic weapon or something like that. Like you imbue the demon great ax as well. But it's basically super buffing the demon's great ax um, and then turning around and um, making everything just like stronger with uh passive buff ah green blues messed up it looks like there it is my lighting didn't want to put the green in the background for a second there i don't know why anyway we also need to increase our pyromancy hand just a little bit more but that's going to require some boss souls. But yeah, plus three Estus Flask will basically um, max HP me every time I drink an Estus Flask. Um, I think both are fairly celebrated equally. Um, I don't think one is celebrated more than the other. Um, you get a lot of fireworks on both of them. You have a whole bunch of different parades and events on both of them. 
Uh, I think the ball drop maybe you could say is more because you get everybody that's up in, in New York, but like the amount of people that hangs out up, up in New York for the ball drop is not as much as like everybody totally, you know, but I do agree with you. Like it's a little bit more like anticipated, I guess. Ooh, I missed that great combustion. I'm glad I did, because I think I would have got hit with two swords at the same time right there. It's all about... Ooh, they could have got me right there. That would have been funny. A two! I don't quite one-shot him with uh, great combustion just yet. Haha. <laughs> That arrow trap got me the first time I walked in. It's supposed to get people the first time that they walk in, you know? Like, that's kind of part of it. <laughs> Everything in the game is supposed to kill you at least your first time. We'll see how this guy died. He goes and picks up the item. He starts getting hit by the... So the dude ran in here, didn't kill the dudes, grabbed it, and died to one of them. Magical. <laughs> Just absolutely magical. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, Sin's Fun House. It's so fun in the Sin's Fun House. Oh, a little bad on timing there. Almost got hit by that. <laughs> yeah, Sin's Fun House is an amazing little area right here. It's a completely different kind of area. Two! Ha <laughs> ha! Two! Be wary of trap! Oh lord! Where's the trap? <laughs> Notice how I weaved in and out between those arrows like that. <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's see if we can do the little uh trick with this guy real quick. Come on, buddy. Thank you for opening the door. Ah. Two. Ah, ah, two. Yeah, I didn't have to open it with the um whatever. Hello, Mr. Logan. Welcome to the land of the not in a cage. <laughs> Helping out people since 2009 <laughs> to get out of friggin' cages. I'm mostly here for the soul of the hero because Big Hat Logan's uh, quest line really doesn't help me too much. But I do agree with this statement. This view is gorgeous. My buns. Look at my saggy buns. <laughs> absolute gorgeous view I agree but it ain't the scenery that's gorgeous it's these buns alright buddy I'm gonna let you get whapped a couple times here I know come on I know the boulder get hurts you quite a bit. Goodbye. Down there is our boy uh, Ungen Bro. Huh? Ow! I always let this one hit me at least once. Hang out at the boss fog for just a second. Get up here and combust this guy. And then I want my ring of steel protection. Another ring that comes in handy for soul level one every now and then. All right, what was in this room? That's right. All right, 
Car two! Hot two! Oh, I should not have swapped right there. That was bad timing on my part. Big old snake boys. Fire in this game is awesome. Um, pretty much all magic in this game is really good. It, um, and bows. Bows are really good too, so. I'm going to do a little tr speed run trick right here. Right on up here in three, two, one. They just got really good, um, they got really good quest lines that are neat. That's how I dodge the boulder right there. Keep from getting hit by the boulder. How do you like that little trick? That's a neat little speed run trick to get past the boulder easy. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two. Nice. We want to keep on going through Sin's fun house here. I did the full run and got blasted most of the times. Yeah, I don't feel like getting blasted, so you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid the getting blasted part of that statement. <laughs> as much as I can. Ugh, I didn't want to trade a blow there. And dead. <laughs> Don't blame me. <laughs> this, this is something I ain't done in a long time, but, and I do, <sighs> no, I don't go down there. Hold up. Where do I go to get that? Um, continuing up here leads to the end of where I'm wanting to go. I think I'll get to the bonfire and then go get my other ring. Cause I gotta go get the gold serpent ring here in a second. Right there's the bonfire. You should make that into book. <laughs> when Brim says by any means necessary, he doesn't joke around. I mean, there are some glitches that I'm not doing that I could do to make things even easier, but those are so cheesy that I don't even really feel like doing it. I only do stuff to really like speed up the game or get to things a little faster and stuff like that. Like, I don't like to, uh, I don't like breaking, breaking the game, so to speak. Cause like, Full on break in the game doesn't really, it's not fun if I do that, you know? <laughs> I'd rather have fun with the soul level one run. Um, okay, we got enough of those. I don't want to buy those. There's nothing special here to buy. There's not a single bow in the game I can use. There's uh, there's Onion Bros armor, by the way. I would like these. So let's see what we can do to get these real fast. No, I'm not going to get those. I don't want them. I am seeing the corner of your screen and it says 60 FPS. Is that by choice or game maxed out? Um, are you talking about like having a cap 60 FPS or being able to see it? Because I don't have a choice with the game as far as like settings go. Um, it's stuck at 60 FPS pretty much. Yeah, 60 is a cap. Um, but now the choice to have it down there and be able to see it, that's that's on me. Yeah. Back in the PS3 days, we were lucky to get 15 FPS, 20 FPS. So, And then in Blighttown, you were lucky to get one or two FPS because Blighttown was like the most hated place on the PS3 purely because the frame rate was so friggin bad the frame rate was insanely bad and uh my buddies the lost rbk can really back up that statement because dark souls 1 before the remaster original edition on ps3 it's it's it is a rough 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 ride on the frame rate but man did i play it and i played hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours on it man I absolutely ate it up 
every single frame I could get. <laughs> I'm not even joking about the like one to five frames in uh, Blight Town. I'm not even like over exaggerating that one. Like it just that's what it was. You were you were lucky to get five FPS on uh, Blight Town. Not that I needed the sniper crossbow. Oh yeah, the ghost area too was like really, really rough. But it didn't have as much frame rate issues. It was just, it's harder to do on lower frame rate is all it is. Like, basically think of your like hardest locations in the game right now. And then think, what would this be like at 20 FPS? Oh yeah, way, way weird times on parries with it too. What's my FOV? I, you can't, I don't think you can change the FOV either. Yeah, the FOV is probably like 60 in this game or something. Like Dark Souls isn't about like settings and stuff. It's, it's a very consistent game that they have designed to be Dark Souls is made to be a very specific setup, like... They have really fine-tuned this game down to where it needs to be. Now that I have that little, uh... Elevator, I'll go run back this way and, uh... Go get my Serpent Ring. Because I came here for the Serpent Ring more than anything else. And I want to do it while everything's still dead through here. Everything got reset. It's a really fine-tuned... Oh, God! <laughs> the game wants to crush my giblets. These are my giblets to be crushed, not yours. Do not crush my giblets. Yeah, it's a masterpiece of a game. I definitely agree with that statement. Like 100%. Whoa, what the heck is that? Tier one sub. What the heck? Like they've got a new, I've got to get an, I got to get a special alert thing for the, the gifted subs now. Cause that was different. I was not ready for that. Thank you for the gifted sub, heck of guy. I really do appreciate it. Crasher bro got it. Hey, Crasher bro got a sub. He don't get no more advertisements. Yay. <laughs> Genuinely, I appreciate it, man. All right, let's get down here. I don't want to get crushed, so I'm going to wait for this next ball to go by. I'm so glad Crasher Bro got it. Crasher Bro deserved a sub. <laughs> Oh, this got... Shoot. Uh, I had to get here faster, actually. Or did I? Hold up. Or is it that this fills up and then breaks that door? Actually, I think that's what it is. I've completely forgotten. What up, Pug? Hey, hey, Pug. I want to... Um, I want to help. Because the, the last time you, you uh, redeemed the disco thing, you know? And... Um, I want to uh, extend the amount of time that you had the disco because, you know, we we ended on like a early stream. So I'm going to give you some more disco mode because uh, you purchased the disco channel points that one stream and we ended really early. So I want to I want to kind of give you some more time to have that. <laughs> so. Is it this one or is it another one? No, nah, it's this one. I missed. Well, I don't, I don't need the spear, so that's stupid for me to do anyway. I'm just over here hanging out. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Oh, I fell down a hole. Do it. I mean, I'll fight him in a second. I will, because you said so. It's not free, Disco. He, he paid the channel points for it. Um, I just ended a stream early, and I, I want it to kind of... Kind of pay him back for it, because... Uh, 
he redeemed it on a stream where I only streamed for like 45 minutes. So. Oh my god, I fell down again. I'm stuck in the car for five hours. Well, welcome to the stream, man. Like, maybe I'll entertain you for a bit, you know? <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Let's do a jumping R2 on this guy right here. Hit. Gada. 219 is going to be faster with uh, pyromancies. I love 100% blocking shield. Two. And he's down. Nice. I just didn't need his weapon. It's a lightning spear. I guess I can use his souls. That might not be bad. Take me up through the elevator of death. <laughs> I just wanted to see the spear. Yeah, I can show you the spear. I just can't use it good because we're doing a challenge run where I don't level up. So it's like... <laughs> it is full on a exactly what you would expect to be spear. It's not a bad spear, but... uh just kind of useless to us right now i will feed it to a chicken neck later <laughs> i'm gonna feed a whole bunch of stuff to chicken neck later <laughs> all right so i don't necessarily want to go to I haven't sat at the other bonfire. Let's use a Homeward Bone. We'll Homeward Bone and upgrade our weapon some more. And then we'll go kill the boss. I also need it. My Pyromancies to be back. So we'll go kill ourselves a boss in a second. I'm not good at this next boss's cheese, but it is possible to cheese this boss. I will try just to see if I can. Because I need to practice it for speedrunning anyway. This weapon's just a little slow for it, to say the least. Actually, you know what? It'd be a good idea for me to buy and uh, start upgrading my other things, too. Because this is the plus 10 that I have here. So... We can take it to lightning and we can take the take another one to fire we should probably go ahead and get started working on a uh, fire one as well just to go ahead and have it ready yeah we'll just go ahead and buy these we walked to the tavern and the bartender asked us why we needed the weapons for we say mimics, the bartender laughed, we laughed, the table laughed, we killed the table, it was a good day. Classic joke. Dude, shrimp, shrimp and steak sounds really good right now. My favorite steak is sous vide steak. Like, I, would, I, I will eat a sous vide steak every day of my life if I could. I have no problem eating a sous vide steak every single day. Where am I going? Okay, we're going to go get the crest shield so we can get it out of the way. Now that I got a plus 10 weapon, I can start actually dealing damage with my club. Yeah. Yeah, I like a plus 10 club. You guys want to go get a better shield for me real quick here? Let's go get a... Go get a better shield. Ooh, ooh. Dude, I'm like the ugliest character on the planet right now. <laughs> Toronimo! Also need a whole bunch of humanities, which I don't have right now. Crest shield incoming, that's for sure. Okay, I did grab I, I did grab that already, so that's good. Let's pretend to be an egg. Take me away, mama bird. Oh, I've already been here. What did I go do earlier? 
What did I go do down here? I've already been here? Why? Oh, I went to go get the um, rusted iron ring. Did I not get the crest shield? I usually go and grab the crest shield. I must have not. What? What do you mean? I am not sure why I went here earlier without, like, getting the crush shield at the same time. I got a heal. Nah, I just talked about it. But, like, okay, so usually when you curl up like a ball um, and get the uh, raven to take you away, um, you're usually coming here to get the crush shield. I bet I have that ring though. I didn't I didn't come here and get the rusted iron ring either. What did I come here for? Cuz curling up like the ball usually takes like 10 seconds and I was going to make a bunch of jokes and that's why it caught me off guard. But like what else did I come here to get though, Nance? Like the whole reason to come here is to get the rusted iron ring. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even activate this boulder again yet. Huh. Like I come here to get the rusted iron ring and I come here to get his shield usually. He might kill me right here. Haha. <laughs> Can't let you take me any further, Mr. Uh, uh -oh. I can't go any further than this, otherwise I'm going to get attacked in the back. Told you. That was a miss. Timing is bad right here. We got it, though. That's all that matters. What did I come here for? That doesn't make any sense. Huh. I don't know. I just talked about the two things. Go figure, I guess. Where's the other guy? Dude, I am confused. I have the confusion. There's two of these guys now. I have not been here in a minute. You ready to die? Looks like it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Sir Baldus is spot on. This is the equivalent of walking into a room, looking both ways and going, why did I come here? <laughs> Like, I feel like I went all the way up here, did something, and then left for God knows why. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? I've borderline lost my mind. Oh, you're behind me. Yeah, we got the damage. You want to try for a uh, parry and repose? <laughs> You're probably right, right, man. Like, nothing wrong with that. Combustion's a little faster. Oh! Okay, um... Every time I want these things, the game doesn't give it to me. But the times where I can't use them, they give it to me. Oh my god. Like, I have gotten almost every... No, it, it's worse than that, Sir Baldus. It's worse than that. Look. Okay, check this out. Two Black Knight Swords now, without killing every single one of them and a Black Knight Halberd when I can't use them because I'm on a soul level one run. Like, I've gotten three Black Knight weapons, 20% chances, this run, in a time... It happened twice last stream. But yes, like, I... Oh my gosh. I, I can't with this. That... That is just not even fair to me at this point. I'm gonna turn one of my worst colors on. <laughs> Oh my lord. I cannot believe this. I'm I'm genuinely mad at that right there. Like 
genuinely, genuinely mad. Where can I go get some humanities if I wanted to go get some humanities? Uh, we can go down there. Yeah, let's go get that next. We need to go get it anyway. How many? We have we have one. Pipe night chunk. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, Sir Baldus is here because he passively boosts luck. I I'm starting to believe that. Like every time you're in a stream, lucky things happen. So I uh I support the Sir Baldus is here for luck stuff. It's entirely possible. <laughs> I would almost go back, but I've got the two rings that mattered to me, so. We gotta run down there and farm some more because uh, I want to get all the materials I need to finish the build. Because once we finish the build, then we're just going down there to get um, to spend our souls at pyromancy stuff. So 